Welcome back to America's Commercial Real Estate Show. I'm Michael Bull, where we've been talking about retail properties. And one of the great things I think about commercial real estate today is really the, the data, the technology that's out there and how if we have the right technology and we know how to use it, we can make really good real estate decisions. Please welcome my next guest. It's Jason Ayers. He's with Uber Media and he's joining us on Zoom. Uh, Jason, thanks for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having me, Michael. Appreciate it. You know, Jason, it seems like everybody uh, that I know uh, has a smartphone and maybe they have several smart devices on them. And, you know, in commercial real estate, we, we try to track, you know, traffic and cars and and things, but what we're really interested in really is the people, right? And, and how are these people moving around? Uh, you guys have a product called Vista Property Report. And, and if you're listening to the show or watching it, this is, this is pretty incredible. They use smartphone technology that tracks where these, these phones go. And you can really figure out who is where, where the traffic is, what time of day, how it's trending. You can compare uh, one site to another site. Um, tell us a, a little bit, Jason, about, you know, how long you've been uh, uh, working with this technology. Sure. Yeah. So I've been with Uber Media for 10 years. So pretty much since the company's founding. And we've basically mastered the art and the science of uh, collecting smartphone location data cleaning that data for accuracy, which is very important. And then turning all of that data into some useful products um, for businesses to use for making decisions, uh, advertising, marketing. Um, as it relates to the Vista property report, what we've tried to do is make a self-service product where you don't need a bunch of research analysts or data scientists to comb through all this data to make it interesting and useful. We've created a collection of reports uh, specifically for the commercial real estate industry that we think help landlords uh, market their properties better. Uh, they help tenants understand whether or not a property is going to be a good fit for them. They could help landlords and brokers uh, understand foot traffic uh, at specific retail locations. And when we say data, Michael, we're talking a lot of data. Uh, we see about 225 million unique devices in the U.S. every month, you know, on average. <laughs> Yeah, on average, we see each of those devices about 500 times a month. So the scale at which we're operating um, to, to create these products is, is pretty large. That's amazing. So let's go through a couple of examples that, that I'm thinking about for the commercial real estate industry and see if, if this could, could work with, your, with the Vista Property Report. So let's say I'm looking at a single tenant net lease investment property or any property with tenants in it. And I don't have sales numbers on these tenants, but I really want to get an idea of how well this store might be doing and, you know, compare it to, to other stores. So I know what's the chances that they might renew uh, or if they're trying to renegotiate the lease with me, I know how, how, how strong the, the traffic is there. Can your system handle that? Yeah, it's, we've actually got a specific report to help you understand that as a, as a property owner or even as a tenant who wanted to compare themselves against, you know, a competitor, for instance. But um, all of that data is in the system. It's readily available. I will mention that you can't track individuals um, using this data, but gathering foot traffic numbers and foot traffic trends over time is, is a really powerful use of, uh, of this data. Imagine it's comparative to having someone sit outside the location with a clipboard, right? Because you can walk into any Starbucks and everybody's staring at their phone uh, mm -hmm. nearly 100% exactly. of the time. Yeah, and that's amazing. I mean, a lot of times you're buying a, a property and you're trying to get an idea of how well the tenant's doing. Because if the tenant's doing well, it's a good property, right? If the tenant's not doing well, uh, watch out, right? Um, sure. And then also, uh, I guess you could look at a, a, one of their stores and track the smartphone traffic there. And then if they had another store, another Starbucks, since I'm using that as an example, um, and we know that store is doing well, I guess you could pull two reports and compare them. Sure, absolutely. And I guess also if you were Mark, so you're a landlord and you're marketing or, or you're, you're selling a site and you want the tenant to look at it, 
I guess could you could you pull the traffic, the smartphone traffic around a property or a site uh, and compare it to one of their stores that's doing well? That's right. It would be a great resource for uh, adding to a listing presentation or to a listing packet. You know, being able to provide potential tenants um, data, real world data about the type of foot traffic that a specific location or a specific shopping center is drawing. Um, and you could even use it to also understand what type of tenants would be a good fit for that property so that you're finding the best possible tenants and not, you know, just renting to anyone. And let's talk about that for a minute because that's really interesting. So we, we don't know whose cell phone that is, but uh, you can actually understand something about the demographics of that cell phone uh, users that are there. Right. Yeah. So as part of the Vista property report, there's, there are two reports embedded in the, the global product that one will track the common evening location of all the devices we see at a specific location. So we see all these devices at this location, where do we see them commonly in the evening? That's very likely their home location. We can overlay that with uh, census data uh, and pull some very um, you know, well-used demographic information. We can also layer over common daytime location. So where are the devices working throughout the landscape during the day that frequently visit this property? Um, and this sorts of data can also lead to some interesting consumer profiles of a given location. So, you know, because we're seeing them in this particular location, where else do we see them out in the real world? You know, are they fitness oriented? Are they elderly oriented? Are they, do they live in a high income neighborhood? Um, so you can really start to develop a true a trade area map and a consumer profile specific to that location or that shopping center. That's excellent. And so if it was a large uh, mixed use development or it's a, a city area and I'm a tenant or a landlord rep or tenant rep and I'm looking at a particular space, I can really go inside this property and look at that smartphone traffic kind of within the property as well. Right. Yep. You could see within, you know, let's take a, uh, an outdoor mall area, you can, you can monitor the ingress and egress choke points of where we're seeing, you know, devices concentrate. Um, you could see within, uh, within three feet of accuracy um, where we've observed those devices. Because again, we're only using the data that comes from the GPS chip on the phone. We're not doing some fancy, you know, triangulation or cell phone tower uh, algorithms. It's the same GPS chip that Google Maps is using. Um, that's the only piece of data that we're collecting off of that device. God, that's, uh, that's unbelievable. Well, I have to ask you a favor. <laughs> so if could you give some sort of discount for this product uh, for, for our show listeners and uh, viewers? Yeah, no problem. We've actually set up a coupon code on vistapropertyreport.com. Uh, it's CRE show. You put in that code, you're going to save 25%. For a full year, um, which you know, depending upon the package you pick, could be a savings of up of up to eighteen hundred bucks. Right. And can the can the listeners look at a, a sample or or get a sample report? Absolutely. We can give you a link to put one in the show notes if you'd like. Um, but you can also go to vistapropertyreport.com and get a free trial, um, still using that code. And then later on, when you sign up, uh, you know that discount would be applied. You don't have to put a credit card in. You don't have to you know, do a bunch of hoops to sign up for this, for this free trial. You get 10 free reports, go in, run some stuff, compare it, see if it's a good fit for you. Um, and let us know if you have any questions. Wow. Jason, I love it. I really love it. Well, thanks for being on the show. We appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. All right. And thank you for listening around the world, around the country. Let us know what you think. Um, try the product, get, check a sample. Let me know what you think. I think there's so many uses for this. Uh, it's, it's pretty incredible. I'm pretty excited about it. I just love all the technology we have today to help us make really good uh, decisions. So until our next show, I hope you always lead, learn, and laugh and join us for America's Commercial Real Estate Show. the show? Consider referring business or doing business with our sponsors. Bull Realty is a commercial real estate sales, leasing, and advisory firm doing business throughout the Southeast, headquartered in Atlanta. Visit bullrealty.com for more information.
Commercial Agent Success Strategies provides video training for commercial agents. This training gets five-star reviews from even the most experienced brokers. Learn more at CommercialAgentSuccess.com. You're invited to connect with us on your favorite social media. You can find us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. Don't miss a show of special interest to you. Be sure and subscribe to the show on YouTube and Apple Podcasts. And at the show website, CREshow.com, you can subscribe for a weekly email announcing the show topic and guest. While you're there, you also found more videos and podcasts. Thank you for watching or listening to America's Commercial Real Estate Show.